Hi, it's Randy Schweitzer with Cobo Banker, and I am here with one of my favorite uh, home inspectors, Russ Yoder of Home Assurance, who's a retired residential contractor and a qualified state inspector. We are going to walk you through the process very briefly. He usually would spend an hour or two, we're in a condominium at the moment, going through and checking all components in the structure itself. Yeah, we want to make sure here we don't have any air coming around here because it's more energy efficient with a good weather stripping around here. So we'll go in the kitchen here and let's see what's going on in here. Go ahead and pull temperatures on the refrigerator and the freezer to make sure those are working properly, which they are. And we'll at the same time be checking the exhaust fan. You see that we have a fan that is working and it's a ductless uh, filter here. It's not vented outside, which is fine. And we'll check the range while we're here also. And then uh, these are warm, as you can see. My hands jump. At the same time, while we're on the wall here, we're going to check these receptacles here. Any receptacle that we can reach here, the selector will tell me exactly if there's a problem, an issue, if there's a cross ground going on, reverse polarity. So as long as we got our lights lighting up like that on the right side, we're in good shape right there. Russ, why don't we move on to the next area because I don't want the video to go more than three minutes here, but just Again, these inspections usually take at least an hour or two, maybe an hour in a condominium. Yeah, let's just look here at the washer dryer for an example here. I ran the washing machine here. We want to make sure that it pumps out on the rinse cycle. So we go ahead and run this from start to finish uh, always to make sure that it completes everything. And then we're checking the water heater. Normally we'd pull the covers and check the top and bottom elements of the water heater, but we see this in particular one is four years old. It's a 40 gallon. And on the air handler here, we find out we get the serial and model numbers off of here. We see we have a two and a half ton unit, and that was manufactured in 04, so this unit would be approximately six years old. We want to check the filter here and make sure that uh, the condenser, the coils here are clean here, and the water is draining good here. you got your condensation line going out of here with a float switch, so at the same time, we'd be pulling uh, temperatures on the heating and cooling on this to make sure that this is working properly. Great. Could we, could we move on to the electric? Uh, yeah, let's go down the hallway here and we'll check in the electrical panel here. And you'll see one deficiency here that I'm writing up is that we have an open, uh, an open slot here on the electrical panel here where a breaker has been removed. And uh, we're going to get a blank cover plate that will snap right in here so nobody sticks their fingers or hands in here. This is a hazard the way this is right now. But we'll stick this in there. And that'll take care of that here. We're running a 100 amp service here for this size condo. The, that's not a problem at all here. Everything is labeled really well here, which is very important here. So if people are in here and need to do some work, they can do that. We have the bathroom in here. Get the light going. The exhaust fan is hooked right up to the light. And so a big thing I like to do in here is to check the uh, tile areas here. Make sure we don't have any water coming in behind the tile areas. And then always check our, check our water flow here. And then, of course, make sure we got uh, stars working good up here, too. So uh, we want to make sure we have good drainage and shut that off. And uh, the lavatory area over here, we always put water in the sink for a while. Let it stand like this. And then we'll go ahead and drain it after we fill the sink completely up. To make sure that we're all dry underneath, which we can see down there, everything is dry. And that's, that's what we want to see. Great. And again, that's the end of the video for now. This was just an abbreviated version. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. Thank you very much.